Chappell. My name is Natalie Ned, and I'm the national goalkeeper for Guyana. Um, I just want to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about my journey that I've been going through in my career of being a goalkeeper and a student athlete. Um, I grew up in Guyana in Grove. I lived there um, as a child. And during my childhood, I remember memories of me going to school and having fun with my family. However, my parents got divorced at an early age and I ended up living with my grandparents down in Esther Kripa Coast. Um, being by my grandmother, um, she was like really like my mother figure. Um, she loved me. She spoiled me. Um, she cooked anything I loved. Um, I remember playing cricket on the road with a lot of people and it was just like a really good environment to be around as a child. I didn't really have my parents around me but my mom did try her best to like pay visits just to ensure that we remember her face and how she looked. I had my older brother there with me and he supported me. I remember he always stand up for me in school uh, anytime I was in trouble he always ran to my side. Um, unfortunately, my grandmother passed away Like I was like seven years old. Um, that took a toll on me. Uh, it was a back step. I really love my grandmother and knowing that she passed away really um, affected me in a negative way. However, my mom decided that she will take back um, me and my brother. And during that process, I kind of like got closer to my mom than I was with my grandmother. The way the relationship changed was now I had actually had my mom with me, but I still remember my grandmother every single day. I could see her and my mom and the way she smiled, I remember my grandmother every single day of my life. My mom worked a really early job and came home really late, so we didn't really have like the best relationship, but she made time for me and my brother. She ensured that we had food and we go to school. Um, we rented a house in Tobago it wasn't like the best setup, but we made it work. Um, me and my brother would go to school every single day and we'll come back home. My brother, unfortunately, had to help my mom out because she had to pay rent and it was like a bit of a strain to her. She was a single parent and trying to provide for two child, also paying bills. So my brother decided that he's old enough. He's going to find a job and he tried to balance school and his work life. And in the process, he struggled with his school um, work. And he didn't have the best results in his school, but he made the best of himself. He made um, he got a lot of trades off of just working. For me, I see my mom working so hard every day to provide for me and my brother. My brother has to assist her because we didn't have her dad around. And I said to myself that I never want to be in that situation ever. I told myself that I will never be, I can't, I can't live like that. So I decided to look for something that I could be interested in. I knew that I wasn't the best um, student there was at school. I didn't have the best grades. Um, I was an average student when it comes to school. But I wanted my mom to be happy and I wanted my brother to stop work. I wanted to provide for them in the future. So I decided to look for sports because that's where I, where I was really good at. I played cricket, I played basketball, and I said to myself, no matter what, I'm gonna be the best athlete in this sport. I'm gonna be outstanding. I'm gonna make people recognize me because I want to be, become so good that people could pay me for this talent. Um, having like limited knowledge of their careers that you can go into and the opportunity that they have for you as a female athlete, I didn't really understand it but in my last year in high school I um, decided to play football and that's where my life changed it was one of the most difficult sports I ever learned because my position was the goalkeeper and I really didn't want to do it but in the end I really enjoy um, being a goalkeeper no matter what I went to some summer camps and I met someone there, she was a counselor at the camp. She also played football. 
she went to college and she believed in me. She told me that no matter what, she believed that I will become something special, thus continue to believe in myself and to have a good relationship with God. And no matter what, your dreams will come true. Um, seeing that she had that faith in me, encouraged me during school to like continue to perform at my best, especially when it comes to the sports aspect. I will tell her like, hey, I got first place in this. I saved so much goals. We made it to the finals. I got an A in this exam. And her reaction of being so proud for me was really, really great because my mom worked all the time. She was happy, but just to know that someone else is there like happy for me was really good. I had a lot of teachers who supported me in school as being a student. I went from average student to getting A's and B's. I even came first in a few years of my class. And that process of having that support system with my teachers and my coaches who encouraged me every single day to be the best. I was really grateful to have so much coach that loved me and take care of me, driving me home, picking me home, picking me up from home, carrying me out for extra training and just giving me words of advice and encouragement. I never doubted my dreams ever. Um, after I graduated from high school in Tobago, I went back home to Guyana. Me and my brother was trying to, um, to come back to Tobago so I could attend sixth grade. However, um, uh, during the process of immigration, we were denied access to go back into Tobago. Um, that was a really sad moment for me. I didn't really want to cry, but I went in the bathroom and I cried because I, I really did want to go back and play more football because I was like, I, I love the sports. I, I only have been there for a year, but it's it was a great sport for me to play. And I love like the expression I can get out of it. It was a happy place that I could forget all my problems. So I, we went back home and we stayed with um, some family members and during that process of being home i couldn't like not do anything because i got so responsible during my school year i became in so much in, i was volunteering in so many clubs and playing so much sports just being at home was like it was like a negative energy for me so i decided to look for a football team in guyana and i found food of conquerors that was a group of female team in Georgetown that I love playing with every single day. I made a lot of great um, friends from that team. I have a lot of national friends on that team as well. And we shared amazing experience with one another. And no matter what, um, they will always be my friends. Um, also, I did the SATs in Guyana. Uh, my mom came back home to support me during that process of doing SATs because she never missed the day I did a test. That's really like one thing I love about my mom. Like we wouldn't really talk much, but she'll always be like that silent support there for me. She came back and she ensured that I ate the right food and she supported me during that process. My brother also gave me encouragement like when I said I can like understand what I'm doing and it was like really hard. I didn't have my teachers around me to give me that extra push but I remembered all the memories that they've given me through high school to push me through the SATs, which I passed. And also having football there and that balance was like really amazing. My mom ended up moving back with my brother. I stayed with my family member for a few months. I was trying to get into college and it was a really rough process. Um, I spent almost two years trying to get into college I didn't really had anyone there or teachers telling me, hey, this is what you have to apply to. This is like the things that you have to do. I just know that I wanted to go to college because that's like the next big opportunity it had for me. Um, at one point I thought of giving it up and be like, I've settled for a job in Guyana because like, there's like no way it could be possible. And I continued training on the my football team. And one day we played a few games and we got, I got called up for my national team. During our process of the national team, I met a lot of um, coaches and uh, technical directors and a lot of people who saw something in me and told me that, hey, we will help you out and during your college process. Um, and they put their 
hands there for me and they gave me the guidance that I needed to apply for college and it was a much easier process. However, in the same time, it wasn't an easy process. Um, there was difficulties of like getting me recognized or getting me involved in school. And the fact that my mom was a single parent, we wouldn't really have the efficient like money to pay off for the college. I would be in debt most of the time. Like if I go to college, we were trying to work that whole scenario out of how am I going to make it through four years of college without like leaving a big debt waiting for me at the end of the years. And I was lucky to come across um, a school, a university uh, called um, Grayson University, where the coach saw my profile and he was like interested in me as a first glimpse as he saw my profile, he was impressed. And he says, um, they will offer me a scholarship, which was like a really, um, a really happy moment for me. I was in my national team in Trinidad Tobago, we were playing a tournament. And I remember hearing that news, I, I cried. I just walked up to my friends and I, I started to cry because I wanted that opportunity so bad. And it came, uh, it came out of nowhere. At the same time, I was thinking, like, hey, I should just give up on this after I leave. And it changed my life. Um, so now that I have a scholarship, I still have to pay a few fees. And the challenges with that is that I still have, my mom is trying her best and um, my support system is also trying their best to pay for my college tuition. And although it's uh, kind of a, a a toll on me. I still remember that I'm a student athlete and I have to continue to put my work in. I pay attention in my classroom, I attend my classes to to show that, hey, I'm interested in this and um, I'm not going to give up on my dreams because of um, this little problem. Um, also, I went and reached a Grayson University. Uh, my teammates, they welcomed me with open arms. They were so loving and kind. I, I literally had two days to reach the Graceland. I didn't know I was going to be there. I got there the first day of school. I didn't have much and they they supported me. They gave me like the stuff that I needed. And it was just a really, really nice gesture from them. Also, I had the opportunity to have a great roommate who also helped me through my process. And the friends that I've um, made at Graceland University are really special to me because no matter what they make sure that I'm okay and make sure I'm fine um, they make sure that I'm doing my work and I'm balancing my work um, there are a great there are great memories that I've made so far over the months that I've been here um, there's also been challenges but I overcome those challenges by remembering that I'm doing this for my mom and I'm doing this for my brother my brother because I want them to have a better life and I want to have a better life I just don't want to be um, stuck in the situation that we were stuck a few years ago in because I just don't see myself as living as a, a normal average person from a day to day. I want to do something that I really love and playing football is what I really love and enjoy doing. And school is a part of that process of me becoming a great goalkeeper. So I will be doing my absolute best in my schoolwork alongside trying to be the best goalkeeper as I could be, also trying to be the best human being I could be. Um, since I got to Graceland University, I, I remember being like in my room most of the time, never talking to anyone, but everyone was so kind to me. It made me branch out. In a few months, I became the senator of my hall. And this position has um, taught me how to be more involved and active in the student's life and everything that they've done so far. Uh, also, um became a peer mentor for the next um semester which will be a really great opportunity to interact with the freshmen that are coming in and being a role model for them telling them um about the responsibilities and teaching them how to manage their time and working alongside them to be the best um students that they could possibly be i just wanted to share my story to tell people that no matter what you believe that you want to do don't ever give up on your dreams um your life is worth living and you if you have dreams in your life 
no matter what they are, no matter what people say about them, just don't ever give up on them. Um, in reality, we have ourselves and we have to believe in ourselves. Majority of the time, people fail to believe in themselves because other people tell them that their dreams are not going to come true because it's too difficult. But there is the reason that these um, dreams are so difficult to other people is because they don't see themselves doing it. They don't see themselves sacrificing um, so much things that you could sacrifice because it's harder for them to give up on something like that. But for you, you believe in your heart that this is what you want to do and you believe that you're going to be successful. So in the end of the day, it's all about you. And the people with the positive energy, you try to stay with them as much as possible. And anyone with negative energy, you just try to like cut yourself out of it because anyone with negative energy is going to make sure that you don't ever reach your dreams and your goals. And in the end of the day, you're the one who's going to be there looking at yourself in the mirror and asking yourself, why didn't you make it? Because you've been surrounding yourself by the wrong people. So for me, I've overcome a lot of challenges in my life. Um, but one thing that I really do love about myself is that the fact that all these challenges made me the person that I am. So I'm not going to like hate my challenges that comes, um, comes my way. I actually really enjoy them because to be able to achieve and to overcome my challenges show me how strong of a person that I am. And it shows me how many things that I could do and the ability that I have in myself. Um, I just wanted to say that you can do anything you want to do once you believe it. And yeah, I don't really know.